Good evening. <laughs> I've just set down my apple pies. They're a bit hot still, so I'm not going to eat them yet. Hello. <laughs> it's Thursday evening. Um, end of another lovely day. Weather-wise, absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, it's been a really lovely day today. Right. I put some videos on this morning. Now, the videos I put on were REF Hendon in 2023 that was the easter of 2023 uh, that's when uh, my marriage broke up guys <laughs> that was the weekend that was um, and i've got a huge number of people have commented on the hair they all love the wig i was wearing so that was lovely you're all saying how how nice my hair looked well <laughs> i've got a confession to make that wig is now my topper. This bit I've got on top here, guys, is that wig. Uh, the wig itself, I wore so much, um, I basically wore it out. It ended up being, as you saw, that was shortly after I got the wig, when you first, when you saw it at Hendon. I hadn't had it long, and you could see how lovely it was. It was a beautiful wig. But the longer I had it, the frizzier it went, and it got really bushy. And I ended up looking like Dougal the dog off the magic roundabout. It was all frizzed out at the bottom. And I couldn't do anything with it. I kept washing it and conditioning it and trying all sorts of things. I couldn't get it back. So I turned that into my topper. So this bit up here and the bits down the side there are that wig. I um, cut all the frizz off, cut the top cap out, and this is what this is, guys. So I have still got it, but it's only a topper now. But it was a beautiful wig. It was an absolutely gorgeous wig. And I got that one from Canvey Island. I went to see a lady called Julie who ran a business called Angel's Wigs and um, I f went and found her on the internet. Uh, the reason I went to see her specifically was um, I'd actually seen an item on the news uh, many, many years ago about Angel's Wigs and how they catered for the cross-dressing community. And um, I remembered it and I saved it on my computer. Uh, but unfortunately that computer crashed and burned and I lost everything on the computer. So I got a new one, which is the one I've now got, which is over there. Um, but I remembered it. I could remember the lady was on Canvey Island. And I did a search and I found her. And I sent her a message and said uh, I was a secret cross-dresser. I, I said I was a shy secret cross-dresser and um, I'd like to purchase a long wig would she be able to help me? And she said, yes, most definitely she could. And we had a one-to-one -one appointment. I went over to see her on a Saturday morning and uh, I got over there spot on. I had to be there for nine o'clock and I got there absolutely bang on nine o'clock in the morning. And she was stood at the end of the drive waiting for me. As I pulled up, I could see her standing on her end of a drive. And as soon as I got out of my car, she said, April? <laughs> and I said, hello. <laughs> And that was it. So I went in to her um, salon, which is a, her salon was a, uh, it's a, um, like a cabin in her garden, like a log cabin. It was gorgeous. It was really well set up. And um, I went in there and uh, I tried on loads and loads of wigs. And this one, the top part anyway, <laughs> was one of those wigs. It was the longest wig I think she had on the shelves. And I had my eye on it from the moment I walked into her salon. I saw it. And I thought, oh, that's gorgeous. And I eventually tried it on, and that was, that was this one. That's the one I wanted. And I bought that. I did buy two wigs off her. Uh, but this was the, the longer one is the one I really, really wanted. And so, yes, I got that from Angel's Wigs. And that was a kiss wig. And that was the first kiss wig I've ever had. Uh, what a fantastic wig, guys. Uh, shame it wasn't a real human hair one. It would have cost a lot, lot more money than I had paid, though. Uh, but yes, that would have been fantastic if it had been a real human hair one, and I could probably have done more with it. Uh, but yes, so that's where the wig came from. Uh, so a little story there that goes with it. Uh, so yeah, so everybody was commenting on that lovely wig that I was wearing. Yes, that was a beautiful wig, and that was in Hendon in 2023. And that was the day before my wife came back from uh, her sister's and exploded. <laughs> And that was the end of my uh, relationship with my wife. Yeah, so yeah. Um, anyway, other than that, 
a work day, normal work day today. I got back late again because the traffic was so bad in Cambridge. Um, but a beautiful day weather-wise. Uh, fed the boys as soon as I got in, made my sandwiches, fed myself. Um, I had a cup of tea in a Mars bar before I went up for my shower. Showered, shaved, down here for you guys. So I was planning on getting my um, dress, my, um, oh, what is it, clothes stand out. And putting it in the main bedroom upstairs above me and then starting to put my tops on, but I haven't had time. I've literally just come straight downstairs after I got out of the shower, guys. So my hair's still a bit damp. It's not very dry at the moment, but that will dry off. So um, yes, I haven't done that. And tomorrow I've got my food shop, so I probably won't get a lot in the bedroom done tomorrow. So it might have to be uh, Saturday or Sunday I do that one, guys. It's just that I just have it. <clears throat> haven't had any time today. It takes a lot longer to prepare your hair now when you come out of the shower. And you need to dry it, and then not. I have to um, use the hair dryer. <coughs> or use, oh, I'm getting get croaky, guys. I need a drink, I think. Um, yeah, it takes a lot longer to sort your hair out. I haven't realised quite how much time you spend on it. Uh, but I love it. I really do love it. Um, lots of you subscribers are saying, oh, can you come and visit me? I'm in Liverpool, or I'm in, in Manchester, Cardiff. Um, I'm having them up and down the country guys, absolutely everywhere. And I'd love to, I'd love to come and see you all, every single one of you. But obviously I've got to be a little bit realistic because I can't go everywhere. And I've only got a week off in November. I haven't got six months off because I'd need six months, I think, to get round to you all. But um, we can sort something out, I'm sure we can. Somebody fairly local to me uh, in Sudbury, which is very close, that's my next, that's my nearest town. That's where I go shopping, that's where my Audi is and my Tesco's and Sainsbury's, that's where I usually go. Um, somebody said there, they said that they live in Sudbury, uh, can we have a greet and meet? And I thought, wow, <laughs> that's lovely. And so if there's anybody in Bury, um, Ipswich, Colchester, Sudbury, they're all around me, all those ones around me. I'm sort of in the middle and all these big towns all around me. So that'd be lovely. So um, yeah, somebody, if there's somebody there watch, watching this who's fairly local to me and wants to do a, a greet and meet, let me know because that's on my doorstep and I haven't got to travel hours and hours to get to you. Uh, so yeah, let's sort something out with that as well. Uh, yes, still definitely going to go to um, Scotland and still going to go and see Chez in uh, Birmingham. Uh, so those plans are still still going to happen. Um, I think that's it. Uh, boys are both settled down. Sooty's just over there behind the sofa and Snoop's in front of the sofa. And I'm going to eat my apple pies, guys. So I'm going to sign out now, and then I shall catch up with you after uh, after I've had this, and I'm going to do the washing. So half past nine, ten o'clock time, I'll do the washing. We can have another, another chat, if that's okay. Right, I'm going to sign out now. I love you to death, and I shall speak to you later. Okay, bye-bye.